So last week we held two workshops in the Bronx, one at the Park Recreation Center in Williamsbridge and the flagship library in the Bronx, which is the Bronx Library Center near Fordham Road. And it was a phenomenal experience. It's been nearly uh, two years, well over two years since I last uh, taught students uh, in person prior to the uh, pandemic. It was the type of experience that I sought because I wanted to teach people in the Bronx uh, entrepreneur skills as it pertains to starting your own production company, whether that's a film or feature film, video production, commercial, you know, post house, et cetera, animation, et cetera. And also teaching or leading a discussion around raising funds for your film, because I think that's so important. Um, in the Bronx, I think we have a plethora of nonprofit organizations and schools that, that, that teach students and, and, and you know services that teach residents and students how to uh, you know write and 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 write their stories and, and get the cameras in their hands and how to you know point and shoot and light and and, and shooting with you know analog or digital uh, cameras with digital sensor you know digital cameras and I, I think that's so great where we have screenings for films and it's a showcase or we do photo projects and we document our neighborhoods. But, uh, you know, for me now, especially with the, um, you know, as an entrepreneur, you know, as a small business owner, somebody in the Bronx, especially with the, you know, the, the subscription economy that we're in now and, 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 you know, inflation being sky high and, and such a, you know, political, you know, turmoil and upheaval that we have, people being upset and things just not going in the right direction. I always like to, you know, impart upon people and have conversations about really trying to better themselves economically. You know, it's not about instilling capitalism or trying to, you know, have this evil love for money. I'm not about that. Um, however, I do believe that if you can have discernible skills or a greater skill set that can provide multiple streams of income in this day and age. I think that it makes you um, more versatile and more marketable and puts you in a better place financially, which has a, a plays a huge factor into your well-being and you know your happiness and, and your confidence, uh, your confidence index. So it was really fun to teach in the Bronx. Uh, those two workshops was, you know, the first one we had one to two people and then the second one, uh, you know, on Thursday we had about six to seven people. So I was, I was just excited. I was so excited on Thursday when we had several people that I forgot to record. That's how excited I was. And it was a lot of, a uh, lot of fun prepping, prepping this to do the workshops. That's something I definitely want to do in the future to really have a partnership or a greater partnership with the New York Public Library and the Parks Department, which I want to, you know, utilize more for the documentary and the nonprofit. Uh, but it's also just a, a, a testament, you know, to, uh, to, to teaching. If you know, you, you, you have to teach. And when you're watching videos on YouTube or you're attending webinars, I think that's great. But there's also a factor where you're in person and being able to connect with people, you know, especially after this two-year hiatus, two-year stress test, two-year, you know, nightmare, two-year journey, whatever you want to call it. Um, I wanted to make sure that these two workshops were actual workshops in person being able to have icebreakers and exercises and a PowerPoint in person, being able to, you know, speak off the cuff and improvise and, and speak with people. That's kind of why I wanted to uh, do those two workshops. It, it does benefit me, it uh, benefits my business, you know, especially applying for business neighborhood grants and, and things of that nature. Um, but uh, once again, I, living in the Bronx, I want to see more opportunities that not just how to create stuff, be a creative and be a technical expert, but getting more into uh, being a well-rounded filmmaker, being um, a more well-rounded creative, and understanding more of the nuances and the necessary steps that, uh, not, I don't want to use the word business, I'll say more along the lines of being financially savvy and, and having more of a a marketing and operations perspective, not just, you, you don't want to be a filmmaker that runs out of gas after you complete post-production because after that, excuse me, after that there's so much more work left to do which is I've discovered with making my first feature film. So in these two workshops, one, um, raising funds for your film, we talked about adopting the philosophy of working backwards 
and understanding that, hey, I want to make this short film or this feature. Don't use the excuse of, oh, it's really expensive to make a feature or you know a really good short film. I, I think that's bogus. You need to work backwards and understand, okay, it might take this budget to make this. How do I do that? If I want to raise $30,000 for a short film, let me take it in thirds. Let me try and raise $10,000 on a, on a crowdfunding platform. Uh, like an Indiegogo, a Seed and Spark, a Kickstarter, you know, things of that nature. Let me try and get another 10,000 in grants, and then let me try and get the last 10,000 through maybe a second fundraiser, or let me, you know, network my way to those last 10 and say, hey, look, I was able to get two thirds of my budget for this important film that I believe can maybe make a profit. It can, it can. My, my goals for this film are to get into festivals. You know, get distributed or have a theatrical release, or maybe I'll just stream it on demand because it has a robust, you know, community. You know, as a filmmaker, you have to have, you have to also be cognizant of the fact that you have a community. To to be a successful filmmaker, your film needs a community, not of you know 50 people or 500, but 5,000. And that's what I'm still trying to do with uh, with my film. And then the second one was starting your own production company, and I, that was really fun to put people through exercises of hey what would you want your what would you want your company to be what would your philosophy you know be in looking at different philosophies of fortune 500 companies and understanding that looking at different websites of other production companies and seeing kind of like developing a template putting people in groups and or in pairs and talking about you know what would be you know, kind of going through an outline of a business plan and what's the market in the Bronx. It's heavily, you know, healthcare and education. It was just really fun to connect with people, especially, you know, in the Bronx, people from the Bronx, around the borough. Uh, definitely want to do more of it. May not have time this year, but it's really fun and I encourage uh, anyone to, if you, if you really get good at a craft, you teach uh, in person and, you know, record classes. Uh, and have, have people subscribe to your classes. It's just really fun. So uh, in closing, I just want to say that these two workshops were humbling, fun, and definitely something I want to do in the future. And I encourage you to follow more of my journey at Green Canvas Productions, as well as 1.5 million uh, underscore documentary and Uptown Films underscore pod. Thank you.